with Gabriel Iglesias and Nathan Fillion. Give it up. Burr, burr, burr. Oh, and we're also hanging out. I don't want to forget. See, Risa is hanging out right here. And Venny, he brought his dogs today. So cute. Just to make me happy. Um, we've got so many questions to get to with Gabriel and Nathan and so little time. So let's speed things up with an activity named in honor of Nathan Fillion. This is... Get it ready. This is a dad joke for all of them. Yep. Philly in the blank. Philly in the blank. <laughs> that was awesome. Okay. Um, here we have our random topic super generator. Clearly, this is still version 2020. You can tell because it's a piece of junk, just like the year. We should update it for 2021. So, Justin, can I get the update? Let's bring in. So, a marker. Cool. But it's fine. Watch this. We're going to update it. Boom. And we're going to go 20, 21. I feel better already. I do too. I also feel kind of high. This marker is potent. Woo. OK. OK, I'll hit the button and the generator um, will bring up a topic. We will all have to fill in the blank. All That's right, good. everybody, here's the first one. Here we go. Boom. <laughs> Under my bed, you will find, um, Nathan, you can go first. An incredibly comprehensive earthquake kit. <gasps> nice. I have like three of those. Yep. I get really worried about them. Do you panic about earthquake? Are you panicked about it if it happens? Not anymore. Not <laughs> <laughs> well, I have like three kits and I'm still freaking out when it happens. But okay, Gabriel, what, what would you find under your bed? Uh, under my bed, you'd, uh, you'd, you'd find socks. Oh, what? What are you still 12? Like what? <laughs> That's like like for a teenage boy. That's awesome. That's I awesome. wish I had something better, but yeah. that's that's what you're gonna find. It's probably just like the one, the other one somewhere else. Uh, mine, my my dog Henry sleeps. I don't know why on my side of the bed and and half under the bed, and then his other half sticks out. I don't know. Anyway, next one. Boom. <laughs> I secretly cry at the movie. Oh, I'll go with you, Nathan. What do you secretly cry? Anything, Dad, uh, anything, brother, anything like family oriented and the last Avengers movie. <gasps> I love you 3000. Tell oh, me. I loved Endgame. OK, that was such a good one, too. I cried, too. OK, what about you? I'm a huge Marvel fan and I got a little choked up, but nowhere nearly as choked up as I got at the movie Selena with J-Lo. Oh, my gosh, I loved oh, Selena. Yeah. yeah. They have a new TV series now. Yes, yeah. on Netflix, just yes. saying. Yes. You can watch it right after Mr. Iglesias. Um, well, I cry at, if you know me at all, at everything. I am touched by all things. It doesn't matter what it is. Boom! <laughs> if I could, oh, if I could go back in time, I would... I don't think, I mean, I'm a woman, so I tend to like the more progressive time, so I don't think going back would be good for me. <laughs> I don't think a certain type of person or being a woman is healthy back in time. Um, I like now. I like now. I don't like to live in pa the past and I don't regret things. Do you? Uh, you know what? I'm not going to say that I don't because I think everybody's guilty of doing it at least a little bit. But if I could go back in time, you know what I would do? I'd, I'd probably start working out. Okay. So I'd probably start working now. out. I'd, probably, I'd be like, <laughs> I'm coming to you from, <laughs> from Burger Future. <laughs> Do it. Get on that treadmill right now. Trust me. <laughs> Ghost of Christmas future. I always say that to my kid. Ghost of Christmas future. Just saying. Um, Nathan, what would you do if you could go back in time? Uh, the secret of traveling back in time is don't go too far and bring winning lottery numbers. Okay, Nathan wins with that answer. I'm just going to say. That would have solved everything. The I old like. back yeah. to the future trick. Yeah, that yep. was nice. That was nice. Um, just made don't... a time machine. <laughs> have a DeLorean. <laughs> Marty. Um, okay, one more. Boom. <laughs> the first thing I wash in the shower is, well, it's, it's a daytime show. Um, I wash Ooh. my face because usually I have makeup on it. So what do you do, Gabriel? Uh, you know what? The first thing I wash is my feet. Your first feet? thing I wash is, uh, wash is my feet. Yeah, because, you know, I, I usually walk around my, uh, my house barefoot, and so I'm always like, let me just make sure that I get the whatever's under there out of there first. Don't you feel like you're standing in the water and, like, it's kind of getting done, like, for you? I need the scrub feel. <laughs> Nathan, what about you? This is actually very important. I go uh, top to waist, bottom to up, and then front and then back, no cross-contamination. Oh my gosh, what sign are you? Like, what? what Aries? You're an Aries, okay. <laughs> I 
was like, wait, there's a control factor there. I'm like, wait, that's a leader. You're an Aries. That's just right. common sense. That's okay. just common sense. I mean, that was what an Aries would say. I'm a Taurus. Anyway, thank you guys so much for playing. Um, I think we've learned a lot here.